So we've got a F-150 here, 2000. And you'll see here, it's in park. But can you see where the thing is? It's lined up between the R and the P and sometimes it doesn't move real well when you do shift it. But anyway, to fix that, there's several things that could be wrong. I'm gonna show you what's wrong with this one. It's been wrong with a few of them. And it's up under there. But anyway, we're gonna take this cover off. For one, it's easier for me to film. It's easier to do the job. And it's easier than laying on your back under. But there's like a screw here and you gotta take these and there's one down here somewhere. You just gotta look for all the screws and stuff and get this lower lower panel off. Also this top piece here pulls right out. And when you do it, there's one more screw right here. And then this will come off. Okay, this little white clip here, and there's a thumb wheel right there. If you look, this top piece of the clips broke off. So that little white clip, what we're going after, there's one screw in it. And then, I don't know if you can see where it hoops over that thing there. It's just a hoop in the wire that fits over that little metal arm of the hook. So we gotta take that one screw out let that unhook, it'll drop down here enough that we can unscrew the thumb wheel and then get the new white plastic piece and put on there. So here's what you end up with. And this has a pin to hold the cable. And then this wheel, when this is two pieces, I'm rotating this wheel, we'll move it up or down that cable and make it adjusted. So you need to turn the wheel off now slide this off, slide the new white piece on, and um, put it back up. This is the hook. So this is what you end up with. You gotta put the wheel in there and feed that loop through everything and then tighten this up. And see, when you move that wheel up or down the threads, how it moves it, the cable. So anyway, now we just gotta hook this loop over the arm and put this all back up with the pin in the right place. And, and do some adjusting. I don't know, I gotta look back and see if it was doing anything, but that little pin doesn't seem to be doing much. But that little black wheel that we just put through there, if you turn that and you look, here, let me get my hands on it. I don't know if you can see that park indicator because of the sun. If you notice when I move that, see how that moves? So you want to just turn the wheel until you get it up there to park. And once you get it up there, right in the middle of the park, um, you want to be able to put it through the gears and make sure it lands on each one right and goes back to park. And if it does, then all your adjustments are done. But it's as simple as turning that little wheel. So here we go. See it follows. goes in every one when I put it back it's in park so we're gonna call that good and all we gotta do now is just put the bottom of this dash back together that's just putting that cover on um, remember the two bigger bolts go here and through the metal thing and putting these up to it so basically that's what you got to do to fix that Okay, I think I ended up using a 732nd six point on that one. While you're under here, right up here, there's a bolt I'm shining on right there. That's that bracket for the shifter. There's one there, and there's one around here side of that pin. Right there, right there. They're 30, number 30 torques. Make sure those are tight. They like to work loose. Usually you feel it in the shifter. That's when you're having trouble getting it back up in the park and stuff. This little thing that we replaced is only for the indicator. Um, 
for the park indicator where you see up there to know what year you're in. So I ended up using a 5 16 a 7 millimeter, and um, 7 30 seconds. And then a T30 Torx if you want to check that where the shifter is. But you'll usually feel the play or you'll be having a hard time getting it in park if you have that problem. This is only to fix the park indicator.